Hello, I'm Bude and welcome to episode 7 of my West Bromwich Albion series here on FM21. As always, thanks for joining me. Smash the like button, sub if you're new, become a patron if you really want to help out the channel. Now, this was supposed to be one season, does what the relegation challenge. It's turned into a lot of fun. Uh, I am still enjoying it, but I think we'll just do one more season, three more episodes, seven, eight, and nine, and we'll see what we can do. Especially because we're in Europe. Hopefully the Champions League. We'll have to see if we can get in there because we've finished four, so got to qualify. Um, now, one quick thing. You might notice I've been wearing the same hoodie a lot this year. It's got an evolving mindset logo on it. It is run by my friend and football manager, Twitch streamer, Limo. Limo57, absolute legend. Um, he is a mental health nurse who runs this charity-based organisation, helps people with anxiety and mental health issues. Um, he's a legend, love him, been my friend for years um, but I've had to make a last minute change because <laughs> I've got a baby and the baby was sick on it so you don't really want to watch me with sick down it so it's getting a wash, it needs a wash but I'll be promoting that um, organisation all year they're going to be the sponsor on the shirts I'll be uh, selling and the shirts I'll be using on my custom series hopefully you guys will be buying them too so yeah I'll talk about that more in my new series I just wanted to make it aware to you guys but also I can't wait to make this aware to you, if that makes any sense. Episode 7, lots to get through. Let's get into it. Let's get straight onto some transfers. And the big one that went was Semi Ajayi. 28, and he's been pretty good for me. Um, but Bournemouth off from his 16 and a half million. And I said, yeah, because I've been able to bring in good players. So I needed that little bit of extra money to put in the pot to really hopefully kick this team on. Kevin Gibbs has gone at 32. He's been me back up pretty much since I came here. Yeah, he has any really. Um, so he's gone to Burnley. Woodman was my backup goalkeeper. Kind of forgot I had him towards the end of last year. He was okay, but we've, been, we've managed to sign a good keeper. So yeah, Rangers came in for him. He's gone off to Scotland. And last but not least, uh, Kyle Bartley's gone. We've lost a few of the players on a free. Um, but who cares about that? Got about 200 grand for Kyle. And he's gone to one of the best clubs in Scotland, if not the best. One of my favourite all-time rebuilds of last year. The mighty Dundee United. Still wish we'd have won that goddamn Champions League. Let's go through the ins, and I've brought in quite a few players. Spent an initial 45, it's going to go up because I've spread some finances out. Brought in a few frees, brought in four loans, and signed a good few players. Start with the loans out, and I've got Reese Nelson. Absolutely buzzing with this. I think he's an, ab an absolute little world if it was. 22 is English, cover on both wings, on loan from Arsenal for a season. Another little loan pickup, this one from Athletic or Madrid, great club. Always meaning to do a save with them at some point. Take on the big two in Spain. Yeah, 22-year-old Paul Alonso. Um, bit of help in the middle. Brought back Conor Gallagher. He was with us in the first season. Um, last year, I was going to try and get him back again. I think Chelsea wanted him. He ended up playing four times, I think. Scoring a goal. So he was a bit of a fringe player for them. We've managed to bring him back in on loan for a season. And, you know, he knows us. I know him. It'll be good for us. And then another last-minute loan, this was. Um, I just felt like I was a bit weak in the middle a bit um so i can't say that name bub bubakare sumare that's what i'm going for young frenchman cheap man's pogba or he's probably better than pogba who isn't um so yeah more help and i've got to try and say this on to the three three signings yeah i try to say about eight times but i'm gonna have to edit all that out right eric palmer brown got released we've picked him up he got his work permit happy days this one, you know, I always never bother with him when I'm at United. But I think, you know, he's a decent young player, especially for a club like us. He was free. He's now worth 12 million. Don't work out. He's young. We'll cash in. The other free signing was a um, head of youth pickup. This geezer, no face. We've raided Norwich for another fullback stuck in the championship. Um, these young players are good. They create good young players. So, yeah, we've got Sam McCallum. Absolutely buzzing with this. I've got... Is it on my Derby one? I've got Max Aaron's at right back from them. So yeah, he's going to be my new backup. He is Kevin Gibbs' replacement. Could push for a first team. We'll see. With Sheffield United going down, like like I've noticed on this game, these clubs are fire sales. These players want out, and I've got three players and from Sheffield United, and this is where all my money's gone into. Um, first off, we've got Mason Holgate, who I think is going to be a great centre half. Well, happy to have him. We've got a new backup striker. To help out Granty, so I'm buzzing with this because he can also play out wide. Um, great little player, I've had him on FM20 last year and he did a few good things for me at different clubs. So really happy to have him as well. 
And then this one I was kind of surprised with because he had loads of interest. Chelsea, Spurs, a couple of other big teams in the Premier League. But none of them made a bid for him. So we did. And he wanted, he wanted out. He wants to get back to the Premier League. I think he's a great all-round keeper. So we've got two good keepers now. It's going to be interesting. He'll probably win the battle though, to be fair. 24 years old, best years ahead of him. I've never had him on the game, so very excited. So quick run through squad depth. Don't forget, we've still got Johnson, who's been outstanding for me. Great keeper, so we are solid there. Um, still got John Joe Kenny at right back. Buzzing to still have him. He is quality. We've got DeMarco, who was a bit unsettled over the summer. I think he sorted his head out, said he was struggling. He's been brilliant. I really like him, so... We're very strong now at fullback. At centre half, we've got Axel Rose, don't forget. Great player. Uh, now we've got Holgate, we've got Mr. Jansen, who I'm pretty sure make the new club captain. I love this guy. He's so good. He's so good. Such a great defender. Very, very happy with that. Uh, and we still got Kipri, don't forget. Good solid centre half. So we're lucky. We are definitely stronger at the back. More depth. Um Round here though, again, it's similar really. I've got a lot of players who can cover all the three positions. But obviously we've still got Gabriel, or as I call him, the cheap man Fernandez. But he's still a very good player. He did well, well better than I thought he was going to do last year. We've got Mr. Harper, cracking young player, only 22 years old. We've still got Jack Wilshire. People are saying he's got injured yet. I'm like, no, he's put in two solid full seasons. He's going to be more of a squad player now. Not Maybe not play as much, but he's still here. He's still here. Now... One signing, I forgot. That was it. Sometimes I'm a bit too quick and I don't read the fine print. Obviously, I know Max Bird from my time at Derby. He's a good up-and-coming young player. Um, and I wanted some help there, right? So we signed him. And sometimes I'll just look at the deal and I'll gloss over it. I'll do, I will I usually check how long they want. I think they didn't want a minimum fee. I didn't check the bit where it said loaning back for a fecking season, did I? So we haven't got him yet, even though he's our player. He's gone back to Derby. At the front, I'm quite excited by it, really. We're still pretty good here. We've got, um, is this Pereira? Yeah, the Brazilian. who um, it, He's better than what his attributes say. He really, really is. We've got the kid from West Ham we brought in last year. He was fantastic. He can play on both wings. Obviously, we've got Nelson. Uh, we've still got Robinson. He's 27, the Irishman, who's half decent squad player. Um... We've still got Grady Diangana, who's half decent. I mean, they do a job, don't they? And I think adding Nelson to that will be really, really good. Um, obviously, he's still in the office. Look at his look. Look at that look in his eye. He just looks at you now, doesn't he? And goes, I'm the best. And he is the best. Because I keep going on about it. But now he's back-to-back. -back, golden boot winning. European golden shoe winning. Premier League team of the year. Motherfucker, Carlin Grant. If he's up for the Ballon d'Or, man, surely. Financially, we're still in a good place now. Um, the major majority of them deals were all the Sheffield United players. And uh, I broke all of them down. I mean, in, in reality, it's about £100 million pounds with a player in them three players. Um, but broke it all down, so that, that's something that will pay off. But it's no issue. We've still got £10 million in the bank. I've got wiggle room. But I feel like I've got a balanced squad. I've got backups. I've still got players in the reserves who could come up if we need them. Managed to improve the staff a bit. Um, I've got a lot of room there with the scouts, but I feel like I've got, got enough scouts as it is. I need to get a physio in. Coaching team slowly getting there. So we're in four competitions, and I thought being fourth, we'd probably have to qualify for the Champions League, but we're going straight in the group stage, which is pretty awesome. No pressure, straight in there, big money, can't wait. Um, Premier League, mid-table. Be competitive for Europe. Fifth round of the FA Cup, fourth round of the Carabao Cup. Kind of might go for one of them, just to try and win some silverware, because this is definitely the last season no matter what because I've got things I need to be doing on YouTube quick check in on some of the transfers that have happened so far in the Premier League just to see what some of the big boys have done some of the money they've spent players in players out and these big teams spend money but I have found that on this year's game and I won't spoil season 3 of me rebuild uh, which should hopefully be out soon but I'm finding you don't need to do this if the game's too easy or my tactic works but I'm, I'm, I don't know I, think, I, feel, I feel like I'm going to have to really challenge myself. My custom series, I'll be starting like at level 8 or 9 or something. I really will be challenging myself. I've got to work my way right through. But I think for my next like rebuild or summit, I need to really challenge myself, like put my stats down. Pre-season, um, it was all right. We had a training camp, played a few local teams. Absolutely battered one. 13-0.
13 0, 13 0, 13 0. And for once, we've got an okay start. I feel like, was it last year when I was like, holy crap, we had four massive teams and got through it somehow? So this might be the opposite. We might start bad. Um, and we're going to be playing Leicester today in the Premier League opener. I'm just got to kick off the first game for a live con. And then I've got um, Derby, Newcastle, then United, Liverpool, Arsenal. So it gets tough there. And then a good run, really. So I feel like on our day, we can beat anyone. When you've got Granty the God up top, who's going to stop you? Now, I'm pretty happy with this tactic, but I think going forward, especially with my custom series, I'll be using a new one. Something more basic. And then on my next rebuild, I'll be using a new one because I don't know if it's just this that's doing so well. I mean... I'm coming into the Prem, surviving, or being a low team and surviving, and then rapidly growing. Um, and I'm having tactics where the strikers just scoring the same amount of goals, and it's it's not designed. I don't know why it's just working this year on this game. So, so we are going to be faced with Europa Conference League team Leicester. Still got Brendan Rodgers as a manager. Fair enough, although he's took him to the dizzying heights of fifth. And they're on a slow decline, predicted to be eighth, I bet, this year. Uh, we'll see, actually, we haven't looked at that, have we? Are they? Because they're on the slow decline. And where are we predicted? We finished top four. Alva forgot to show you that. Yeah, that was a total guess. They predicted to be eighth. Look, slow decline. What's going on with them? Uh, and we're down here, which is better than down here where we have been. I mean, we were bottom, then we were 18th, I think, or maybe 17th. And now they've put up 11th, even though we finished fourth and we're a freaking awesome team. But yeah, I, don't, I never really trust that too much. But yeah, I'm excited. I'm really excited. So welcome to the team sheets for what should be you know, a tough start to the campaign, really. Away at Leicester, they seem all right on this save. On my derby save, they've been relegated. So the game's a bit funny this year. One constant is, and my mate Lee Masters might agree, great subscriber, I love you, Lee. Um, Spurs are shit. I don't know why Spurs keep being consistently crap when they've got great players, but it is what it is. Now, they are moaning about him, Samari. He's not 100%, but I really want to start him. I've had to make a few decisions because the fitness, niggles, so on. It's not So it's not my most perfect team. I think I've got Bood is much better when sticking to a plan. Of course I am. Bood, the man with a plan. Same tactic, boring bastard. Here we go, we kick off. We're playing in the bloody awful yellow wing. Do you know what? I like this West Brom save, but I will not miss them freaking kits. Come on, lads. A few new players here, but we've got Granty. When you've got Granty, you've always got a chance to win. Um, bad news today. My little boy, someone in there, his class is a confirmed coronavirus case. So he's got to come home today. He's come home, he's out there right now. He wants to sit in here with me, but he can't because he would not shut up. Oh, Ramsdale. Bloody hell. Um, got self isolated for two weeks, hasn't he? We're all right, apparently. Unless he unless he develops symptoms, we can carry on as normal, which is weird. But it's ruined it. It's his, it was his last week at school. He was going to have a Santa visit, pantomime, all that. That's all gone. He was having his haircut on Friday. That's all gone. He was back at soccer tots on Saturday, which he was super excited for. Can't go there for two weeks. And then on Sunday, we were going to see Father Christmas at a farm. That's had to be cancelled. So it's like it's ruined his Christmas. He can't do anything. He can't leave the house or go in the garden, you've been told, till the 21st. Some poor little boy. He's only three. Don't really understand. Shite in it. I'm looking forward to getting that vaccine and just getting my life back to normal. Seriously. And there we go. We're still good. Hopefully. We're still good. We started well. 1 0. So if you are one of my patrons and you became a patron before the end of July, you will be in my custom club team. If you become a patron after July, you will be playing for our rivals, but you will be in the database. I'm going to be getting in touch with everyone on Friday the 11th to just ask you what you look like, if you want to use your real face, and what's your nationality. Everything else is going to be random, your position, your height, your weight, um, and we'll see how it goes. I'm going to put the finishing touches, put you all in the game at the weekend, because on Tuesday, apparently, my shirt arrives for the new team so once I've got the shirt and I can show it you um, it should be getting made available on the website I think it's only going to be available though. they put time frames on them I think it'll only be available to the end of January and um, they sent me the prices through I think if you're in the UK they're going to be 25 quid Europe 27 quid and if you're international on the world is granted oh mate ooh it'll be 32 quid I think that includes postage I think so yeah like I said, I'm not making any money from it. I just want to use it as a means to promote my friend's mental health charity. 
and get all you guys involved. And I think it's a pretty cool shirt. I will give you one hint. It's mainly white. It's in the colours of the new club. Designed by FM Kit Designs, who's an absolute legend. Find a link to him down below in the description. Guy's a freaking genius. Right, near the end of the first half, we're doing all right. I'm pretty happy with this. Any win away is good. But, you know, we're a good team. Someone like Gabriel, who's just a solid all-round player. He had a good season for me last year. I'm enjoying this. One thing I'm enjoying is finding these players like DiMarco, like Gabriel, using a player like Axel Rose, Janssen, just stuff like that. But I'm also finding it easy to do well. Do you know what I mean? Just doing what I always do, get the staff in, have a tactic I like, get the players I want. And I'm not buying worldies. I'm buying players mainly and both my saves at the minute that are either transfer listed, free agents are requested because they've been relegated or something. So, yeah. I mean, I showed you what you could do with a good team like United when you've got loads of money. I just bloody won it all, didn't I? So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I need to really challenge myself. Next rebuild. I'm staying in England for one more rebuild and we're going down some divisions. And I really hopefully we're going to try and make it hard for myself. All right, Kenny, last throw of the game. So, Mario here. Let's just give the ball away. Might have to bring him off at half time. Maybe it's because he's not 100%. But that bad move has resulted in a full on Leicester attack. And goal! Jose Juan Marquias, you little. That was a bit of a cock up from the new boy. A bit of a wayward pass resulted in a right good counter from Leicester. And they've got themselves back in it right at the end. To be fair, it is neck and neck, really, isn't it? Neck and neck. We need, they need an ass kicking and maybe a change. So I've made two changes. We've brought on um, Reese Nelson on the left which I'm, for Brewster, which I'm pretty excited about. And Harper's come on in the middle for that Sumari guy. There he is, Harper. Don't give the ball away. Give it straight to Kenny. Can we get straight back into it? No. He's all right, that Jojo. Is it Jojo? John Joe? John Joe. What a name. John Joe Kenny. It's like they like both names, so they just picked them both and stuck them together. I've just demanded some more. It's not the most in the tiny second half. Here come Leicester, hopefully it's us getting the ball off him and getting them on the break. There we go, well done Aldgate. Like him, you know. Grant here, passing it back, building up some play here. Here's Nelson, fresh legs, got a lot of talent, wants to prove himself with a full season in the Premier League. Can he get the ball into the box? He's taking on the whole team, you greedy little get. Oh, here come Leicester down the left. Is it Marky? I see the guy who scored. Good bit of defending from us from Pereira, gives it to Kenny. Kenny gives the ball away, just bigging him up before, wanna? You get the bloody ball away. Oh, look at this. The offside. Do you know what? I wonder. I was wondering the other day. I've never played. I've never watched a game on full game. Why would you? Is it actually? Oh God's sake! Is it actually ninety minutes of football? Oh God's sake! This is not turning out well, is it? I, mean, I don't really want to make a change. I think my best goal threat's on the pitch. Uh, I've gone attacking and I fired them up. Let's see if they could at least salvage a draw here in our opener. Do you know what I mean? Is Harper, Pereira, come on boys. Oh, for God's sake. Kenny's going to pick it back up. Come on lads, back to Harper. Holgate, Gabriel, Holgate. Oh, nice little bit of football. Can we do anything with it? Is Kenny, crosses it in. No, oh my God. Keep applying that pressure though. I like it. Is DeMarco, kick it in the box. Don't do a freaking Nelson. Cuts it across. Oh my God. Well, two minutes of extra time. I think we might lose this. Lose our first game away. It's not the start you wanted. Can we salvage anything? No. I mean, we haven't been that bad. We've just, I've not seen Granty once in this game. Right, come on, this is it. This is it. I give him a load of shit as well. I berated him. Down where everyone thinks we should belong in 17th. Oh, come on. Berate's only just come through. Brilliant. That's that's perfect timing, Mr. Berate. Great. And there we go. We've been beaten. Right. I keep thinking, you know, I need, I need to realise we are West Brom. We had a great year last year. Hopefully, this ain't a bad start that goes bad. Hopefully, we can turn this around. A lot of football still to be played, though, isn't there? Well, that was a bit of a damp squib of shit. Started off well, got a bit excited, and then, yeah, it is what it is. 17th in the league. But like I said, there's a long way to go. Some of these guys maybe need to settle in a bit more. And, and maybe, maybe we've been found out. You don't know, do you? I don't know because I haven't played it yet, so we'll have to wait and see. But I'm still positive about this team. And I'm positive we'll get enough points to at least get up there. Top four. I don't know. I think losing is making me like, doubt things. Especially because I've got Champions League and I've got like, bloody six really tough games. 
on top of what we had last year. We will see though. Keep the faith, Baggies fans. There we go. Started off with a loss, but it is what it is. Hopefully you still enjoyed the episode. Uh, smash the like button if you did. Make sure you comment down below. Let me know what you think of the squad. Do you think we can repeat last year even with that loss? Um, you don't know, do you? You don't know this team. I didn't expect we do what we've done so far. So you just don't know. Hopefully we can do all right. We'll have to wait and see. I'll get playing it later. Maybe. I don't know. I feel a bit gutted. I hate losing. On live com or when I'm on my own in my bedroom in my underpants. I always hate it. Anyway, hope you're happy, well, um, and free from any kind of coronavirus and uh, ready for Crimbo. Yeah, gutted. All right, I love you long time. Hopefully I'll see you for episode eight when we return around January. I'm booed. Bye-bye.